Hi there, folks. This is Chris with Chris's Trains and More. Seen a couple of people asking about how to change their traction tires on their Polar Express engines and or any other steam type locomotive. So I actually was running my Three Rivers train underneath the Christmas tree and I lost one of the traction tires. So I figured, why not? Let's do a little video on how to change them. So, turn around and uh, got to remove this screw here. As you can see, the tire is already gone. So, and I have a five millimeter socket, a little nut driver. This is what I prefer to use. Um, you probably could get away with using a crescent wrench or maybe a pair of pliers, but I don't want to mar this up. So, just take this screw out. so we don't lose it and I have two new traction tires that actually came with the train hopefully they're still in good shape a little old but they should work so we're gonna lift up and get this underneath the wheel and the linkage and then this comes to be the fun part we gotta pinch it and stretch it around. And there we go. Kind of work it around. Make sure we get it down into there. You don't want to make sure that you don't have any bulges or anything. I actually had a Lionel Legacy New York Central switcher that one had a bulge in it and it was actually derailing the train that's it and then we just put this screw back in i was running this the last couple of days with uh, just the one traction tire and my sons picked me up some heavy weight k-line passenger cars new york central of course and I spun the other one. So we're actually going to change both of these. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Get ourselves a tiny little screwdriver. Hard to fish this out of here. I did have it off and I ended up tucking it back in. I don't know if you could see that on camera, but you can see how dry rotted that is. It's like cracking. Take this off and bring that up here. Maybe you can see that on camera. So. See how dry rotted that is. So pull on a little bit, and voila, snaps. So these definitely needed to be changed. And you can see they're starting to melt. Just normal wear and tear. So, same thing like the other side. Lift this up. Fish it under there. I always try to get it started over here by the wheels where they're touching and then just stretch it around Ooh, lost it over here hopefully we can get it all the way over there and we're gonna start again I said you want to get it down in between the two wheels over here and try to pinch it in there sorry about my hands being in the way this one's of course, being tough. There we go. Alright, looks good. Feels like, oop, sorry about that. Feels like it's seated in there real good. Alright. If you remove these enough, you might want to put some Loctite on here. Red Loctite. 
you do want to be able to remove them, but these are going in kind of stiff, so I don't think we're going to need it just yet. And I usually try to keep an eye on all this stuff. After your second or maybe third pair of changing them, you might want to do that. And don't over tighten it, just snug. Don't want to get too far out of hand. And while we're at it, my wife picked me up some of these makeup brushes, an entire set, and that way I don't think about using hers. I'll go ahead and try to get some of this dust off of here. Getting dusty under the Christmas tree. Brushes are nice, nice and soft. Oops, get everything off of there. It's pretty good. And then, since we have it right here, I'm gonna take some oil. This is a real oldie bottle there. And a couple drops of oil in here while we got her apart. Or while we got it on the bench here. I should say kitchen table. <laughs> Just a little bit on there. They don't seem like they're doing good. I don't think I need to do any of those. Looks good. All right, and that's all there is to it. While we're at it, I'll just put a couple little drips. So we can run in this one a little bit. Very sparingly. Especially if you don't run your trains a lot. And that's all there is to it. She's good to go again. Till the next time. All right, shout out to all my subscribers out there. Thank you so much for all your kind words of encouragement. Um, if you like the video, please click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, if you have any other questions or anything, please mention them down in the comments below. All right, as always, thanks for watching.